Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm here to do your weekly readings and we're now on Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you know exactly when I upload a new video. <laughs> and your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. Thank you for being patient as well. These videos were supposed to be uploaded um, yesterday. I got really busy, so thank you for your patience. This is for Gemini. What's going on with Gemini's this week? Let me shuffle just a little more. What's going on with Gemini's this week? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Gemini's. Hmm. Be careful of someone's intentions. That's just the first initial message that I'm picking up. For some of you, be careful for of someone's intentions for this week. I feel like um, something could really take off with with someone's passion. So you may have a burning sexual chemistry with someone. Yes, you may have a burning sexual chemistry with someone. Um, and maybe this is what you want, but I'm just saying, make sure that this person is being open and honest with you about their intentions. That's all I'm saying. Make sure that they're being open and honest. Okay, we do have deception and envy here, which is like the seven of swords in traditional tarot. We do have passion ignited here. Yeah, someone's heart is on fire. Someone's passions are definitely ignited for another person. And this is like almost causing a jealous feeling in someone else. Someone may be feeling jealous over a new connection that you have with someone. And then we have accelerated motion, eight of wands. Fire, fire, fire is here. Fire sign energy. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Or you could just be dealing with literally fire, the passion of something or someone. Some of you are literally dealing with fires, okay? Um, I don't know if you live here in California, but um, you you could be dealing with actual fire. Um, there's There's been a lot of fires around this state, so I'm feeling that for some of you. Some of you live close to the mountains or in a mountainous area. Um, take it as it resonates, but I feel, feel the need to say that. Um, and so I hope that you all are receiving the help that you need concerning the fires. And, um, yeah, I'm just feeling a strong energy of fire. So someone could be dealing with that or going through, um, just be careful with anything sparking in your home or, um, your electrical outlets, something with fire. Okay. But for others of you, I'm feeling a strong feeling of, you you're starting something quick something something is getting ready to happen your passion is ignited for something or someone but people may be envious of this someone we do have the power card wow this is leo's energy you could be dealing with the leo doesn't have to be so don't get hung up on the sign but this is the power card wow you you're showing your strength Mm. <laughs> Let me just show you what I see. We have base chakra, which is like the devil energy in traditional tarot. The base chakra is the lowest of the chakras. So someone is thinking pretty low. Okay. So this is this energy that I feel. The deception and envy. Someone is thinking low around you. Someone around you is low vibrating this week. They're not on your level. Okay? Someone is very low thinking. <clears throat> and then we have prosperity begin. So something new is beginning for you. You see how these two people are touching each other's hands. You're starting to grow something new with that tree. Something new is growing 
it's what you want, fulfillment of wishes. You're getting exactly what you want and it's going to require some strength. Okay, it may be difficult to start this because I feel like someone is being very jealous um, of this new beginning. Someone is being very jealous here. But man, is their passion. You may be very sexually attracted to someone. You're very, someone is stirring your emotions. And if it's not you, this person feels this way about you. They're very sexually attracted to you. I just feel like some of you could be having a lot of sex this week or someone is pursuing sex with you this week. Tell me more about this energy. What's going on with Gemini's? What do they need to hear and know this week? What do they need to hear and know? Why is deception and envy here? Passion ignited. Accelerated motion. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. The magician. There you are. Gemini Virgo energy is here. The magician. You are the magician. You are manifesting something. You are pursuing someone. <laughs> or And someone is in hot pursuit of you. I feel like it's equal. I feel like it's equal. Ooh. I feel like this may be someone you dated. For some of you, this may be someone you dated in your past. Maybe things didn't work out with this person in the past. Yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I feel like you were afraid of commitment. Someone here was afraid of commitment. Someone wanted to do their own thing. Someone, someone enjoys their freedom a little too much. Someone enjoys being single. Yeah, it's hard for you. Like I said, if it's not you, then it's the other person. But someone here, it's like it's hard for them to be you or this person to be uh, to be in a relationship. You like your freedom. I keep getting that because this is this is what I'm saying. And you're like, no, I want love. I want love. No, some of you, you say you want love, but you like your freedom. I see the nine of pentacles, someone who's free, single, doing their own thing. You're a good catch. The full card. Yes. The full card is here signifying someone going off on their own path. Someone who liberates themselves, set themselves free. Then we have the nine of cups. This is what you want. A selfish desire is fulfilled. Okay. We do have fulfillment of wishes right here as well with the number nine at the top. It's the same card. <laughs> yeah. I feel like some of you, you are very attracted to someone, but some of you, it's hard for you to be in a relationship because you do like your freedom. Some of you ran not uh, the seven of swords with the four of wands. Some of you ran away from a stable relationship or a stable home. Some of you could have ended a marriage recently or a long-term relationship. Yeah, because we have the three of cups with the five of cups. Do you see the three cups here that are laying there spilt? So at once upon a time, there was a good connection and then the three cups spilt, okay? And put you in a place of sadness. And it's like, you know what? I'm ready to manifest new love now. Some of you could have had someone in a third party. Um, because we do have the Three of Cups um, there. Let me show you. We have the Three of Cups. Then we have the Three of Swords with Deception and Envy. And then at the bottom of the deck, I just saw, there we go, the Three of Pentacles. Some of you were already married when you met this person. Some of you were already in a relationship when you met this person. But you are regretting, there's something that you're regretting. I feel like you, you may have regretted hurting this person or this person regrets hurting you, okay? With Passion Ignited, we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? You're ready to give and take with someone now. You're ready to show them how much you care. You're ready to show them your passion. Accelerated motion, we have the sun. Leo energy is here again. 
Leo is here strong. Someone makes you very happy and you're ready to move things forward with this person very quickly, very, very quickly. This will take off very quickly. I'm talking about jumping in bed like the first time y'all meet up. It's like that kind of energy. Like, I want you now. Like, there may be a baby. Now, y'all better be careful because somebody may get pregnant very quickly. When I get the sun card, sometimes it signifies a baby coming. So if that's not what you want, then you better be careful. Okay, that's your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you, Geminis. Have a great week. Bye.